Hello everyone I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Code Era So today we will see top 30 latest technical and HR question which are frequently asked in Wipro And guys before starting this video I just want to share a very important tip with you about the Wipro interview that according to my research in the Wipro interview most of the time interviewer ask only those things which you have mentioned in your resume or introduction so here i would advise you to mention only those things in your resume or introduction that you really know so this will help you in your interview so guys in this video we will cover this following question which are introduction project related question technical question and guys we all know different different technologies so in this video we will see the important question from the c c++ java python and we will also cover dbms and sql so that this video will be helpful for the most of the candidate and then we will see some coding question and behavior related questions with some hr question so here we have a lot of thing to discuss that's why i am dividing this video in two parts so today in first part we will see this much so now let's start our discussion So here is our first and important question which is also a universal question that is tell me something about yourself so this question is asked in almost every company not only in the technical interview but also in hr and mr interview so you must have to prepare this answer now i will tell you the tips to answer this question so first thing is never memorize the answer as this question is asked by the interviewer because he wanted to know about you who you are and what knowledge you have so this should be like a conversation so please don't memorize your introduction so your answer should be in a proper sequence you can give your answer in form of timeline so you can start from your personal introduction like from where you are and you can also tell him about your family and then tell him about your education after that tell him about your projects that you have done in your graduation and then the technical knowledge you have and in last you can share your achievements and your other interest and please remember one thing always tell the truth in your introduction so that if the interviewer ask you something from your introduction part then you can you will be able to answer those questions and one more important thing is don't give a very long answer for this question so your answer should be brief and properly communicated so our next question is tell me about your family so if you didn't mention anything about your family in your introduction then he may ask you this question so you can tell him the name and the profession of your father mother and the siblings and if is there any other special thing about your family so you can also mention it for example someone in your family do some social work so mention this thing it will create a positive impact on an interviewer so our next question is tell me about your project so interviewer will ask you to describe your project on which you have worked during your graduation or during your any internship so he just wanted to know that how and where you implemented your knowledge so to encounter this question first you tell him what was your project and explain its complete working and if it was a group project then also tell him about your group members and also tell him from where do you get the idea to create that project if your project is based on some real life problem and then mention which technology you used to build that project and why and explain him how your project is beneficial to solve the real world problems so in this way you can beautifully answer this question so now our next question is how did you resolve conflicts in your project so the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wanted to know that how you act in a team or you are a team player or not so to answer this question you should mention this four points that is what was your role in that project next you should mention what was the reason or situation for the conflict in a positive manner and then tell him that how you resolve that conflict and in last mention the outcome of your solution in a positive way so for example you can say like sir i was a back end developer in our project and one of our team member didn't complete his task on time 
When me and my team member asked him about it, he reacted defensively. I kept calm and asked him about being late in the task completion. Then he explained his situation that due to some family issues, he was not able to complete work on time. So to resolve this problem, we divided his workload between the team member and as a result, we completed our project before time. So this is how you can answer this question. So now our next question is in which technology are you comfortable? So guys, sometime interviewer ask this question so that he can ask you the further question related to that particular technology. And if he didn't ask you this question, then he will pick one of the technology that you have mentioned in your resume or the introduction. So suppose you select C or C++, then he may ask you the question like, what is the difference between C or C++? So guys, I have already created a video on this question. You will find the link in the description box. Now the next question is, what is pointer in C++? So the pointer in C++ is like a variable which is used to store the address of a value. Pointer are also known as indicator or locator. So after giving this definition, you can mention some advantages of the pointer. So you can say like, with the help of pointer, we can return multiple values from a function. And pointer help to reduce the code and it also enhance the performance of the application. And after the advantages, mention some, uh, some uses, like you can say we use pointer for dynamic memory allocation and so on. And the interviewer can also ask you to write a code based on the pointer. So I would suggest you to be prepared with the syntaxes. So in this way, you can answer this question. Now our next question is, what is the difference between malloc and calloc function? So here we have some differences between these two functions. like malloc function can create only a single block of memory of fixed size while calloc can create multiple block of memory for a single variable and the next difference is malloc accept only one argument while calloc accept two arguments and malloc is fast and it has high time efficiency while calloc is slow and it has low time efficiency and the last difference is the memory block allocated by the malloc function contains some garbage value while the memory block allocated by the calloc is initialized by the zero. So these are the some question asked from the C or C++. And if you select Java, then the interviewer may ask you some questions like why Java is platform independent language. So to answer this question, you can say like that any Java program is first compiled by the Java compiler which generate dot class file and this dot class file contains the bytecode which is platform independent and it is not ma machine readable code. So we can't execute this bytecode. Therefore we need an interpreter that is JVM to execute this bytecode and the JVM is platform dependent and in last it will give us the output. So because the bytecode is platform independent, we can execute it on any operating system with the help of respective JVM. So this is how you can answer this question. Now the next question is what is object oriented programming or what is OOPS? So to answer this question, you can start by giving a small definition of object oriented programming. And then you can specify that six major object oriented programming concept which are object, class, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance and polymorphism. After that, explain this concept with real life example. And here, real life example are very important because when you tell the interviewer about these examples, then he became to know that you really know this concept and it's working. At that moment, you are not like those candidates who just memorize the definitions. So, this real world example will add more credit in your selection. And sometimes interviewer asks you some single concept based definitions like what is abstraction or what is encapsulation and so on. And sometimes they ask like explain object oriented programming concept with real world example. So again I would suggest you to prepare some real world example for the object oriented programming concept. And suppose if you select Python as your technology, then he may ask you some questions like what is the difference between C and Python? 
सो हियर आर सम बेसिक मेजर डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन सी एंड पाइथन सो बेसिकली सी इज द प्रोसीजर ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वाइल पाइथन इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड सी हैज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पॉइंटर्स वाइल इन पाइथन देर इज नो कंसेप्ट ऑफ पॉइंटर्स एंड वी यूज सी mainly for the hardware related application while python is used as a general purpose programming language and the next difference is very important that in c it is mandatory to declare data type of the variable while in python it is not necessary to declare the type of the variable and also c has a hard syntax while python has very simple syntax so these are the main important differences between c and python Now our next question from the Python is, what is the difference between list and tuple? So guys, this is very important question of the Python technology. So the list in Python are mutable, while the tuples are immutable. And if we iterate the list, then it is slower as compared to the tuple. And the next difference is, the list is better if we have to perform insertion or deletion operation. while if we have to access any element then we should go for the tuple and also list consumes more memory while tuple consumes less memory as compared to the list and the last difference is list has several built in methods while tuple does not have many built in method as compared to the list so these are the some differences between list and tuple So now in the next slide we will see some important question from the DBMS. So the first question is what is DBMS? So here you can give a brief definition of the DBMS. So you can say like the software which is used to manage database is called DBMS or database management system. For example MySQL, Oracle and so on. These are some popular commercial database management system used in different application. So guys our next question is what is normalization and its type So this question is from the database management system So you can start answering with the definition of the normalization So you can say normalization is a process of organizing the data in a database and normalization is used to reduce the duplicacy of the data from a relation or a set of relation And if we talk about the type of the normalization then there are four major type of normal form which is 1NF 2NF 3NF and BCNF So here you have to give brief definition of all these four type of normal form and I have already created a video on normalization and its type in detail so you can also watch that video and the link for the video is in the description box Now the next question is what is the difference between primary key and the unique key So here are some differences between primary key and unique key So primary key is used to uniquely identify each row in a table and unique key is also used for the same purpose only if the primary key is not present And one table can have only one primary key while one table can have multiple unique key and we can't store null value for the primary key whereas null values are allowed in the unique key and primary key ensures the entity integrity that means the value of primary key cannot be null and it should be unique value while unique key only ensures the uniqueness of the data and the last difference is primary key creates clustered index while unique key create non clustered index so these are some important question from the database management system Now we will see two mostly asked SQL queries in Wipro. So the first one is write a query to find the second highest salary from the employee table. So guys I have already uploaded a video for this query where I have explained how you can find the nth highest salary in five different ways. So you will find the video link in the description box. So now our next query is write a query to get all the record from table 1 which are not present in table 2. So for this query you can go for either of these two query and this video is getting lengthy that's why I'm not going to explain this query in this video and if you want to understand this query so please drop a comment in the comment box Now let's move towards our next part which is coding question So guys in Wipro sometime they ask you to solve some coding question in the interview So these are the important coding question which are frequently asked in Wipro So the first question is write a program to demonstrate the Fibonacci series. 
and the next question is to check that a given number is prime or not and sometimes they ask you to print the prime number up to the 100 and the last coding question is to check that a number is palindrome or not so these are the very basic programming question that you should prepare so guys that's all about this video and in the second part we will see some behavior based question and HR interview question which are frequently asked in the Vipro. So guys if you like this video so please hit the like button and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for watching.